Hey everybody, today is the day. It's a road trip travel day. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. Sam, are you excited? I am. Sam's excited. We are heading out from Orlando, Florida, all the way down to the southernmost point of the United States in the Florida Keys. We're gonna bring you with us on the full travel day from Orlando down to the Florida Keys. First things first, we've gotta pick up the rental car from the Disney World Car Care Center. Well, first things first, coffee. So even though it looks like we're heading into Disney World, we're actually going to the Disney Car Care Center to pick up a rental car. There's a lot of construction going on here near the entrance of Magic Kingdom. Oh my goodness! And here's the Car Care Center. There's a gas station and you can pick up rental cars. Of course, booked in advance. Over there is where the Disney buses gas up. Alright, hopping in to pick up the rental car. They gave us a Nissan Rogue at the rental place and we're gonna load up. Definitely more spacious than my car, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna hop on the Florida Turnpike and that takes you basically all the way down to the Florida Keys, all the way down to the Everglades, all the way down to the tip of Florida. Beautiful day too for a road trip. The Turnpike has a ton of these service plazas all along the way. You can stop for a gas or food or whatever you need. We just set out though, so no stopping point yet. We did start out with some Starbucks, always a great way to start a road trip. Sam, how you feeling driving the rental? This is the dream. <laughs> it's a lot nicer and more comfortable than your tiny car. And my car is very small. Very small. <laughs> Great. We're going to take turns driving, but I think Sam will do most of the driving. So we are just chilling. We're not stopping, but we are passing the Yeehaw Junction exit. I used to stop there all the time. Another thing I love about the Turnpike, and this is true north and south, is that it's lined by trees like foresty areas there's pines there's wetlands there's all sorts of different florida terrain on like, the right and left i like looking out for interesting birds beautiful day for a drive it really is it's beautiful let's see how we're doing on time here so it looks like we've got just under five hours of driving left to make it very good time looks like we'll be in key west around 5 30 which is good because it means we won't be in Miami during rush hour. It is about that time in the drive where we're gonna pull over at a rest station, get some fuel, use a restroom. I don't know what uh, what service station we're at, but we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> this is also a good time to throw away any trash you've accumulated or Starbucks. Sam's gonna pump oh, that gas. When they didn't have the thing to do it by itself, not oh, happy. Oh, it doesn't have the little uh, thing that you, have, you can, yeah. You have to hold it. Oh my gosh, primitive. Yeah. You can also wipe down the windshield if you need to. By the way, this is the rental car. It's a nice mini SUV. It's driving really smooth and nice. And we popped into the Pompano Beach Service Plaza, used the facilities, yeah, fueled up, and we're good to go getting back on the road. Oh look, a big RV. We're seeing RVs, like trailers, campers, stuff like that on the road. Love that, lots of vacation feel. So let's get back on the road here. Loading up, ready to go. Way up ahead you can see that big guitar, and that's hard rock. And that means we're getting a Fort Lauderdale. A lot you can do at the Hard Rock. It's a hotel, a resort complex, tons of entertainment over there. It's weird though because they didn't build the whole fretboard. Like it doesn't go all the way up. It's just like the bottom, the body. Anywho, it's also a casino. And here's how you know you're in Miami. Nightmare roads everywhere. Just nightmare everywhere. Oh, flashbacks. Oh, no! You, oh, you want this lane? No, you can't. Sorry. No. It's yeah, sorry. Every road Try closed, this one. broken, oh, shut. shut. <laughs> and we're finally seeing signs that say Key West. Woohoo! We're about to hit the last exit on the Florida Turnpike. We are getting much, much closer to the Keys. 12 miles from Everglades National Park. Beautiful. Love the Everglades. Here we go. Getting close. Exit one. Number one numero uno and here you have a choice you go south or north we are gonna keep going south all the way baby key west keep left express 
expressway ends. Woo! It's exciting. The drive's been so smooth. And so here we go, getting off the Florida Turnpike and we're gonna be on US-1. So you can go right to Everglades National Park, left to Biscayne National Park, or south to Key West in the Florida Keys, which is where we are going. Key West is all the way at the bottom of the Keys, so there's still like a three hour drive once you hit the Keys, but the drive on Overseas Highway is beautiful. It also includes a seven mile bridge, which is beautiful and amazing, but here we go, we're getting close. You can cut to the left for Card Sound Road, but we are just gonna keep going straight. So last chance, so like the last mainland thing. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Once you see this blue awning, you have hit the road to the Keys. Key Largo is just 20 miles. And we finally got some sweet, sweet water view, but this is just the beginning. Entering Monroe County. Now we're in the Keys, officially. Oh, look at that. Oh wow, the water's like dark and rough right now. Welcome to Gilbert. So there's a little motel here. There's a little restaurant on the water. Got some boats anchored here. Beware, crocodiles are present and dangerous. I've mentioned a lot before that down south in the Keys, it's full of beautiful murals. So here's the first one of the day. And look at that sun. Woo. Well, we took a quick stop at Gilbert's to stretch our legs, use the restroom, get a little glimpse of the water before heading back out on the road. It is so beautiful. Look at this water. Most Keys beaches are not like this, but this is really nice. All right, we stretched our legs. We did a little stretch in after a long, long drive, sat by the water for a little bit and relaxed, and now we are ready to keep driving. We may just push all the way through to Key West because I think we're only a little over two hours right now, so let's go. All right, we're back on the road again. Heading down just about two hours of a drive and gonna get some spectacular views along the way. There it is, the Welcome to Key Largo sign. The Florida Keys. Caribbean Club, another great place to stop. Jimmy Johnson's Big Chill. And then Sundowners up ahead. These are lovely stops in Key Largo. The Big Lobster, Green Barrel. Also looks like we are gonna drive out of this weather. It was blue and beautiful the whole time and then there was this big gray cloud, but look, it's bright and blue beyond it. Now we're getting deeper into the Keys. The sun is out and you get these stunning views of the water on either side of the road. Nothing like it. People pull over on the side too to like fish and chill by the water. Lots and lots of little bridges to go over too before the big bridge. So blue. Oh look at this. like. What is happening down there? I don't know, something. Up here on the right is Robbie's. It's super fun and this is where I did the feeding the tarpon video. You can check that out on my channel. Really, really fun. More and more bridges <laughs> on the way down. Very cool. Very cool. Water as far as the eye can see on both sides of the road. Pretty crazy to look at the map too. Like basically it's just the road ocean. Sam, you are a really good driver. We just went over the first really long bridge and that wasn't even seven mile bridge yet. And it was really cool. Yeah, it is cool. I barely filmed any of it because I just was like, even like, though I've driven over them millions of times. It's kind of like you're flying over the water. Yeah, <laughs> but we do have a big bridge coming up. There's lots of little bridges. And then, uh, yeah. I'm yeah, but we have uh, just about an hour left. Woo! Oh, here, this is cool too. I love when you're like at sea level and you're just like, the water's just like right. Like, here's the road. There's the water. Fun fact, Rooney, the Seven Mile Bridge is the ninth longest bridge in the United States. To the right is the old Seven Mile Bridge. And we 
are currently on the new Ur Bridge. It's a beautiful drive, really gorgeous, and this takes you straight to Key West. and visitors too to like fish and uh, enjoy the beautiful vistas. There's like, oh, I can't even talk about it. There's like overgrown trees and don't look. You stay looking forward. Okay. You look Stop forward. Worrying. Please though, Stop please worrying. just look forward. You heard that? Yeah. That says look forward. <laughs> Sam, you did a great job. You did a great job. Professional seven mile bridge driver. You've done it. Yeah. And you said, I don't know if I caught it on camera, but you said that's like, one of the coolest things you've ever driven, right? Yeah, really cool. And just the coolest? Make, probably. It oh makes, look, there's pedestrians on the old bridge. It makes it really cool seeing like the abandoned old bridge. Yeah, it? yeah. You and know, I, I love abandoned stuff. So. You love it. Look, people are kite surfing up ahead and I can see land and I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I want to kiss the ground. <laughs> Little ducky, woo! That is also crazy. Bridge over there. I can look at that. Well, look at this. Look at the beautiful blue ocean. We are very, very close now. That was the uh, railroad, Flagler Railroad, remnants of it. We're on Big Pine Key now. Up ahead is a wild deer sanctuary. It's so beautiful. You can get out, and there are deer all around. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot of beautiful nature here too. And we're still 40 minutes close, but yeah. Still 40 deer crossing here. Let's keep our eyes peeled for deer. See the deer crossing signs everywhere. There's a blimp out there. See it? Cool. Yeah, more bridges. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Excited to get there and stretch our legs again? I am, though I haven't felt like it's been too long. It's been really smooth. If you told someone in England you were dry, gonna drive seven hours, <laughs> they would just laugh at you. <laughs> we are driving right into the sun. Yeah, the sunset's pretty close. Welcome to Key West. I don't know, I feel like there's a different sign. Yeah, we go left here. So there's the like welcome to Key West sign. It's really hard to see because the sun is kicking. Woohoo! We made it. Woo. Good driving, Sam. USA. Yeah. Quite a relief to be here. <laughs> We're so close to the hotel now. There we go. The Fairfield Inn and Suites Marriott. That is where we're staying. Right. Here we go. Huh. Very, very good prices for Key West. Uh, I'm gonna check in now. We just parked, super easy. Lots of free parking here, and they also have bicycle rentals. Very cool. Rent here, return here. Here we go. After you. Oh. oh. <laughs> Take two, after you. Thank you. Cool, does the job. I came in, fluffed the bed around a little bit, 
The room is sufficient. It's nothing super fancy, but it'll do the job. It's got a little fridge here. It's got the amenities that you want. Nice clean bathroom. May have to ask for more towels, but yeah does the job. One interesting thing, most hotels do have a Bible. This one also has a Book of Mormon. Interesting. Oh, and I found extra towels and a blow dryer. Cool. After a long day of driving, we want some dinner. So we looked up a bunch of reviews. We made a list. Two friends, Patio has pretty good reviews. So we're gonna try to go there for dinner. We're gonna try to Uber. Nice pool area. We're heading up to the front to get our Uber. Oh, look at the pool. I like these fountains. Oh, this is so pretty. On our way. Okay, our Uber just dropped us off here at Two Friends Patio Restaurant. Looks pretty lively and fun. Let's hope we can get a table. Live music inside. Gorgeous patio. Cool. We got seated right away. All right. Decide what we're going to eat. Casual, fun atmosphere. Definitely keezy type of food. I like the way the lights are multicolored and sway in the wind. So the menu here says a Key West icon since 1886. So we had to do a little bit of Googling. So Google says Two Friends is one of Key West's oldest haunts. And even though Two Friends opened in 1967, this spot on Front Street goes back to 1886 and it was a saloon and a bordello. There's this cute little like waterfall here. Got some live music in here. Goodness, this looks nice. I got the shrimp trio, so I got shrimp scampi, uh, boiled shrimp, and coconut shrimp with garlic mash. And Sam got the seafood trio. What do you got here? Scallops, yeah. shrimp, and mahi mahi. It looks awesome, and you also got garlic mash. And some, yeah, garlic mash. Yeah, these look really good. Let's dig in. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Lord help me. Mmm, delicious. That was delicious. We just popped into a gift shop and we're sniffing key lime pie candles. They smell so good. <laughs> but it's made in Kattenberg, <laughs> but it does all smell really good. Now we're just gonna have a tiny little after dinner stroll before heading back to the hotel. It's so beautiful out tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna try to make it to that. That's it for tonight. We are actually gonna head back to the hotel, get a good night's sleep, and tomorrow we're gonna have a full day in Key West with lots of fun stuff. But that is gonna be a separate video. Right now, that's a wrap on today's video. The travel day from Orlando all the way down to the Florida Keys, the Seven Mile Bridge, checking into our hotel, going out to dinner, and just getting settled in here. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned. Once again, thank you all so much for joining. I'll see you for the next video, which should be pretty soon. And until then, as always, stay enthused, bye.